Elon Musk's boring company launches a tunnel competition involving Tesla remote control cars. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell when you subscribe so you may be notified when I upload our next Tesla story. Elon Musk's boring company is launching a new competition that will see teams bore tunnels and the goal is to beat the speed of a snail. While the boring company already has several projects underway, it is still trying to develop better tunnel boring technology. The symbolic goal is to beat the speed of a snail, which is actually a lot harder than it sounds. In order to attract innovation, in order to reach that goal, the boring company announced a new tunnel boring competition today. This competition challenges teams to come up with tunneling solution and answer the question, can you beat the snail? The Tesla's boring company is gauging interest from everyone, students, companies, hobbyists, etc. from around the world to design, build and raise their own tunneling solution at the boring company's Diga factory in the first not a boring competition in spring 2021. More specifically, the teams will compete to bore a 30 meter tunnel with a cross-sectional area of a 0.2 square meter, which is equivalent to a circle with a 0.5 meter diameter. There will be three categories, fastest to complete tunnel, Second, fastest to complete the tunnel and the driving surface, we will drive a Tesla remote control car through the tunnel. And third, most accurate guidance system, how far away is the tunnel from its target. Apparently, they are going to have a remote control Tesla vehicle as a tool to judge the driving surfaces built by the different teams. The competition is in the same vein as SpaceX's Hyperloop competition, which is not happening this year. Earlier this month, Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced that the company is working on a longer vacuum tunnel for a new version of the competition and also re referenced the new tunnel boring competition announced today. Uh, he replied to Renata Conkloy's question, who said, Any news on SpaceX's Hyperloop competition? Will it be cancelled or just postponed due to the virus and travel restrictions? Uh, Elon Musk re responded, saying, We need to finish building a much longer vacuum tunnel for speed tests and probably have an additional competition for tunneling itself. Teams interested in, do in the not a boring competition can apply in the Boring Company's website. In the meantime, the Boring Company is completing its loop tunnel system uh, at the Las Vegas Convention Center and expanding it to the rest of the city. Elon Musk often uses these types of competitions to recruit for his companies. Therefore, if you, if you are an engineering student looking to land a job at the Boring Company or even Tesla or SpaceX, it might be a good idea to participate in this competition. We were at the SpaceX Hyperloop competition two years ago and it was really fun, says Electric, and they say they love talking to all the excited engineers studying there. Friends, Elon Musk announced the existence of the Boring Company in December 2016. By February 2017, the company had began digging a 30 foot wide, 9 meter, 50 foot long, 15 meter, and 15 foot deeper testing trench on the premises of SpaceX's offices in Hawthorne since construction on its site would not require any permits. When told by employees on a Friday afternoon that it would take at least two weeks to move staff cars in the parking lot and start digging the first hole with TBC tunneling machine, Elon Musk said, let's get started today and see what the biggest hole we can dig between now and Sunday afternoon running 24 hours a day. Later that day, the cars, the cars were gone and there was a hole in the ground. The Boring Company was initially formed in December 2016 as a subsidiary of SpaceX before becoming an independent co uh, company in 2018. 
in an interview during a TED conference in April 2017, Musk estimated that the Boring Company project had taken 2 or 3% of his time making this venture a personal hobby. In March 2017, Elon Musk announced that sometime in April the company would start using a tunnel boring machine TBM, to begin digging a usable tunnel at SpaceX. At the end of April 2017, a TBM was seen at SpaceX with the boring company's name on the site. The tunnel boring machine was revealed to be named God Tone in May 2017 after the Beckett play waiting for God, uh, God, Godot, actually not God Tone, Godot. Future TBMs, uh, uh, tunnel boring machines, will also be named after poems and plays. Musk says, the first route creating will run from LAX to Culver City, then to Santa Monica, and end in Westwood. Tesla CEO Elon Musk claims the tunnel trip will take 5 minutes compared to above-the-ground driving, which takes 45 minutes in normal traffic to go from LAX to Westwood. These trips were planned to be implemented by placing a car and electric sled and traveling at 120 miles per hour, which is 200 kilometers per hour, through the tunnels. By November 2017, the company had filed a permitting application with Los Angeles government regulators to build tunnel from Hawthorne along Interstate 405 to Westwood. In July 2017, Elon Musk announced plans to build an underground hyperloop connecting New York City, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Washington, D.C. But in October 2017, the company obtained a utility permit for construction of the Maryland portion of the Baltimore-Washington Tunnel from the Maryland Department of Transportation. Construction of the tunnel some 35 miles between downtown Baltimore and Noma, Washington, D.C. will start near Fort Meade. The October 2017 Maryland government permit for utilities indicated that construction could begin in January 2018 on two parallel 12.4 mile electric sled tunnels that would run from Maryland Route 175 to downtown Baltimore terminating near Camden Yards. The New York to Washington DC Hyperloop, which Musk has claimed will take 29 minutes to travel from one city center to the other, was planned to be built at the same time as the Los Angeles Tunnel System announced in May. Other projects include a San Francisco to Los Angeles Hyperloop and a Texas Hyperloop which are planned for a later stage. In July 2017, Elon Musk uploaded a video depicting a successful test of a prototype car elevator. In October, Musk revealed that second tunnel, uh, tunnel boring machine is named Line Storm, named after the Robert Frost poem A Line Storm Song. In November 2017, Musk stated that the boring company would respond to a request for quotation from the Chicago Infrastructure Trust and the City of Chicago to design, build, finance, operate, and maintain an express service through a public-private partnership from O'Hare International Airport to downtown Chicago. By March 2018, the company had been selected as one of the finalists in the competition. So as you can see, friends, Boring Tunnel, a boring company, has been very active in many places. In March 2018, Elon Musk announced that the company would readjust its plan to prioritize pedestrians and cyclists over cars, which would only be considered for transport after all presented mass transit needs were met. In January 2018, Chicago selected Musk's company from four competing bids to provide high-speed transportation between downtown and the airport. The final contract remains to be negotiated. In early 2018, the Boring Company was spun out from SpaceX and into separate corporate entity. Somewhat less than 10% of equity was given to early employees and over 90% to Elon Musk. Subsequent concerns by SpaceX shareholders resulted in a December 2018 reallocation of 6% the Boring Company's equity to SpaceX. 
in January 2019, Musk responded to a query from an Australian uh, MP regarding a tunnel through the Blue Mountains to the west of Sydney, suggesting the cost of $24 billion or 750 million for the 31 mile tunnel plus 50 million per station. A few days later, he stated that he had been asked by the director of CERN about construction of the tunnels for the 62-mile circumvents future circular corridor at the, uh, and that the boring company could save CERN, CERN, several billions of dollars. In November 2019, Steve Davis had become the president of the Boring Company after leading Boring efforts for Musk since 2016. Davis was one of the earliest hires of SpaceX and has twin master's degree in particular physics and aerospace engineering. And now, now there is something very interesting coming from the Boring Company. Elon Musk's Boring Company is launching a new competition that will see teams bore tunnels and the goal is to beat the speed of snail. What do you think about this, friends? Let me know. This is going to be very interesting. While the Boring Company already has several projects, like I just mentioned, underway, it's still trying to develop better tunnel boring technology. What could be a better tunnel boring technology? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel, join our community, which grows day by day. And also, please uh, ring the bell when you subscribe, so you may be notified when I upload my next Tesla story. Have a great day. God bless you all. Talk to you soon.